Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here then hi. If you're watching this on the day the video has come out, today is my 17th birthday. I've been wanting to do this video literally since before my channel became a thing. So yeah, I've seen other people do it such as Ava Jules and Morgan Yates and I'm sure there's more people who have done it. I wanted to do the same thing. So today I'm going to be telling you guys 17 things that I've learnt at the ripe age of 17. And I will be reading them out of my little YouTube journal. I have them all written down. Because uh, you best believe I wasn't about to read these off the top of my head. When I was going through coming up with these 17 things, I really treated it as a like a just looking at everything that happened in the last 12 months and how I've grown and how I've learned from that. So first thing is everyone sees life from a unique perspective, which I feel like is pretty self-explanatory. Number two, peer pressure is an influence, not an action. No one makes you do anything and you're the only person liable for your actions. And I've said that because I feel, I mean I could be way far off here, but I feel that I'm not really your typical, well, 17 year old now. I mean I don't go out and do things that most people in my year at my school do. And that is, person, that is just like my personal preference, I'd just rather not be doing those things. There's nothing against them, they're allowed to do whatever they want to do and I'm allowed to do whatever I want to do. And I feel like me sticking to my values is like sticking with this saying that peer pressure is an influence not an action so no one's dragging you along to do things you get on your own two feet and you walk yourself there so it's entirely up to you number three if someone is calling for you they need you like no one's going to come to you if they don't want to talk to you if they don't need help when someone comes to you they come to you for a reason and you need to respect that and understand that that person does appreciate you number four not everything deserves a reaction allow your successors to speak for themselves and this is definitely one of the bigger things I've learned this year. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not a very humble person. It's, it's out there. It's been said. But this was something that was actually, I think it was in Ava Jules' video of 18 things that she learned at 18. And I feel like this, I don't want to come off sounding vain because that defeats the whole purpose of what I'm trying to say. But a lot of positive things have happened for me in the last 12 months like sure a lot of negative things have as well and they all balance each other out I've really learned if I do something and I get recognized for it awesome sweet if I do something and I'm proud of it and I don't get recognized for it that's fine I can be proud of myself I don't need to draw everyone's attention in and be like yo like be proud of me as my success is not anyone else's no one's going to be as proud of you as you are of yourself number five happiness is when you start living for yourself not the life everyone else wants you to live again kind of like a peer pressure thing number six be unique but be yourself there's no point in trying to stand out in the crowd when you're standing out as someone else you do the best job of being yourself so it comes naturally you don't need to try and be anyone else because they are their own unique individual person and i know it's hard it's hard to be yourself like it can be at times but you always, at the end of the day, you always come back to being yourself. So that's all that matters. Number seven, think before you talk, stay away from drama, arguments and large problems, conversations solve them. Uh, this is something I've kind of learned over the last few months. I tend to stay away from drama, I tend to stay away from arguments, and I find that arguments start when people start to raise their voices. So it's just important to keep your cool, as hard as that may be at the best of times. No one wants to get in an argument. An argument is generally based off the fact that you have a different opinion to someone else and that's fine, we're not all supposed to have the same opinions. Number eight, self-love is powerful, not vain. Number nine, life starts when procrastination and excuses stop. Life is so incredibly short not to be living in the moment. This is something of the, kind of since summer really, where everything that I do I kind of think, do I really want to be doing this? Is this really going to bring me happiness or would I rather be doing something else? And that has actually changed my mindset quite a lot and I find myself using my phone less and doing stupid things that don't matter, doing them a lot less. And that has really just helped me avoid procrastination and just really just get on with it and I've been getting so much more stuff done I would definitely just recommend prioritizing your time and revolving it around the things that truly do matter to you. Number 10, everything happens for a reason. This is my favourite thing, my favourite quote of all time. And I've also got a few other things that lead on from that, which is, Nothing is an issue, everything is a learning curve. Although the reason may not be clear at the time, it will soon become apparent. Everyone who enters your life is either a blessing or a lesson. And those three things sit hand in hand, and they are so, so important to remember. Things happen in life that you don't expect, that you don't want to happen, and you don't necessarily have control over that. And you may think that is your fault, 
but at the end of the day it's happened it's been it's gone so just move on and soon you will see why that happened and what it was preparing you for number 11 a positive mindset overpowers everything optimism makes life so much more exciting I don't know I don't know how else I can what more I can say about that number 12 the longer a conversation is the more you will learn that wow that is something I learned late last year where I found myself talking to quite a lot of new people obviously with being on YouTube and more people reaching out to me I said it's like I'm kind of popular I'm really not but the more people you talk to the longer a conversation is as long as you keep on talking you're gonna keep on learning things whether it's about the person about something else like you're going to keep on learning and I think it's pretty cool. Number 13, self-control starts with a routine. Also something that I learned late last year, that once you really start to get a routine in place, you st really start to differentiate your needs and your wants. Once you start to do that, everything kind of just falls into place. Number 14, kindness costs nothing and everyone deserves a chance to be treated like a somebody. That is really important. Not a single person, no matter what, deserves to be treated terribly or badly or everyone just deserves a chance in this world. When you meet someone, don't have thoughts in your head about who they are based off what someone else has said. If you didn't hear it with your own ears, if you didn't see it with your own eyes, don't believe it. Give everybody a chance. I believe that everyone deep down is a really great person. I know everyone has their different motives and whatever. I mean kindness, it, do, it costs absolutely nothing. It costs nothing to say please, it costs nothing to say thank you. Things like that can go a long, long way. Number 15, how somebody else treats you isn't a reflection on who you are as a person. Number 16, you never see him but he's always there. And that is actually something that earlier this year when I was at my grandparents house, I was sitting at the dining table having breakfast with my granddad and he said this and he was actually saying it in reference to a bird who was chirping like way up in the tree and he said every morning he hears that bird chirping but he never ever he's never seen it and that kind of to me that I literally sat there like eating my toast and I was sitting there I was like wow like that is that applies to so many more things than just that bird in that tree to me that really just resonated and I was like wow but like, there's so many things in life that are there but you don't see them and yeah, it's really, I, I kind of, yeah, I'm, it's really hard to talk about, I'm kind of lost of words, but yeah, I just, that really just has stuck with me since he said that. And number 17, don't give up. There's been so many times, like so, so many times, you, like you would not believe that I have considered giving up, say on YouTube, or giving up, I play guitar, the amount of times I've considered giving up playing guitar, stuff like that. And I'm so, so grateful that I haven't because the amount of things that it leads to, if you just get that little bit of motivation, that little bit of inspiration just to keep going, it gets you so far. Working hard for something and then seeing a result at the end of it or part way through or progress or whatever is the most motivating thing ever. That is 17 things I learned at 17. I hope you guys took something from that. If not, then hey, that's fine. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time seeing my face, hi, what's up? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. My socials are always linked down below and I will see you guys next week for yet another video. Have a good week, I'll see you guys later. I'm feeling good, like I should. Literally match my duvet right now. Butch that. I know my Sunday bed is. Yeah, hey, every day can be a better day despite the challenge.